and we're set. What's going on everybody? Adam here. Welcome to The Naughty Escape. As always, if you like this, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It's pretty simple. You clicked on this video for one thing and one thing only. You want to learn how to change your oil on your jet ski. Today, we're going to be changing the oil on a 2020 Yamaha VX Cruiser HO. Look, if you don't know how to change your oil on your car, you don't know how to change your oil on your truck, it's not a big deal. These are still 10 times easier to do it and you're going to go even faster. So the main question is, is it worth doing it yourself over going to a dealership and having them do it? Well, the answer is... Glad you're still with us. Now, what was that question again? That's right. Is it worth going to a dealership to get your oil changed on your skis than it is to do it yourself? Well, that's up to you. But here's what I can tell you. It's going to save you several hundred dollars a year, if not up to a few thousand dollars within a lifetime. Changing your oil for 50 bucks, 60 bucks, you know, maybe even a little bit less, doing it yourself for spending several hundred dollars every time that you need to get uh, your hourly oil change. And the only few products you need is right here. Amazon, again, everything that I'm getting is going to be put in the description below. Just click on the link, that's all you gotta do. Here's your whole kit. Right by Yamaha, comes with your oil, comes with your oil filter, and even if you don't have a funnel to end up putting your oil in, it comes with a cardboard one right here. So you can't go wrong with it. One thing you are gonna need is an oil pump extractor. I paid 25 bucks for this, Amazon, again, all you do is hook it up to the battery, it'll do it all for yourself end up getting an oil filter wrench as well too. Six bucks, Amazon. Again, I'll put the link in, not a big deal. So you got 25, five, 50, 50, 60, 70, so 75 dollars for your very first oil change. That's all you gotta worry about. Matter of fact, when you're ready to change out those spark plugs, they have kits with the spark plugs with them too. And I think those are only for 70 bucks. So it's not a big deal compared to two, three, four hundred dollars at the dealership. And of course, waiting a week, two weeks, three weeks, almost a month, sometimes probably longer than a month because they're so busy during this coronavirus right now. Who would have thought? All right, so this might sound a little silly, but if you want to change your oil, you got to take your seats off, right? Let's get to the good part. All right, so naturally first we want to do is check our oil. Here's where we'll put the oil in. And if you look right over here, here's your oil filter. It's easy as can be. But before we go ahead and change it out, I want to run the engine for a couple seconds. <laughs> of that is to get the oil warmed up so it ends up getting thinner otherwise it's really thick and when you end up taking it through this oil uh, pump extractor that it'll go out a lot smoother a lot faster we'll see how it works obviously you don't want to run your ski on dry land for too long otherwise it'll overheat but let's get to it so this is your oil pump extractor we're learning this together right now I took it out of the box right there and it came with this by itself and then the two lines, you can put it on either side. One sucks, one blows. Easy enough. When you plug it in, one's going to suck, one's going to blow. You'll know which one as soon as one sucks and one blows. Yeah. All right. Now, got the positive on positive, red on red, black on black. And then when you do it, it'll automatically... That's it. And we're going to stick... Thin side, right through your dipstick hole. Let me uh, make sure oil doesn't get there. And then once you plug it in, it's going to go all the way circulate through here and out here. And then I'm going to take the end of this and put it in a two liter soda bottle or a milk jug, whatever you have, something that you can actually hold the oil. You don't have to waste your money on an oil pan. And then when you're done with that, unscrew the oil filter, put the new one on, 
and uh, we'll go step by step through this it's pretty easy and just make sure you rub a little bit of oil around the uh, gasket on the new oil filter so that it seals up properly now as always if I don't say this later because I'm gonna be caught up doing this make sure you hand tighten it only your oil filter that is uh, don't over tighten it otherwise it's going to be a pain to get off and you can actually damage it but that's pretty much it for now let's get back to it fellas you remember how the old women always say that size matters bigger is always better not in this case you want to go put the smallest little dinghy in the hole bigger is not better in this case some of you will appreciate this stick it all the way down you want to go balls deep in this one till it stops and we're gonna take this hole and put it in you think I'd already changed out of my work shoes I don't know how well it's gonna fit. yeah looks good enough all right got that in there now it should start sucking through as soon as I plug it in I don't know how well you can see. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Come on. flip it over and there's a switch on the bottom which we just found out oh, yeah. because it kept getting kinked up but that's it let it do its thing and while we're doing that move your fork through the whole time so uh, I'm gonna turn this off until I'm ready to switch out that filter. Alrighty, once you start seeing all these air pockets in here you know it's done. Slide this out. By the way, I know I ended up cutting the uh, camera off. You're going to need two two liter bottles, not one. So luckily we had an extra one on the side. I did have a little bit of mess, so I gotta clean that up. But let's go ahead and get that filter off now. One thing I should have checked, and this is a lesson learned, my oil filter wrench 
is too big for the filter. So this calls for a little bit more messier situation. And I'm gonna show you exactly what not to do. But if you need to, you can do it. So what I'm gonna end up using is a screwdriver and a hammer and hammer the screwdriver in the filter to use as leverage because it won't twist off by hand. And this is why I said it gets messy. So got it in there, out the other side, and twist. Let this be a lesson. Make sure you have the right tools first. There's no reason why this should have taken so long or even got so messy. But sometimes you gotta improvise and adapt. Here's the old filter, all banged up, but here's the new filter. Make sure that gasket ring doesn't have any damage to it. I'm gonna take my finger on this old oil. Just go right around the new one right here. And then we're gonna just screw it right back on, hand tighten. Remember that filter comes with? Fill it up. That's all you got. Just dip it right in there. I have a lot to clean up now. But mistakes happen and you learn from them. experience for all of us right there so now you know how to change your oil the correct and the non correct way to do it but hey it got done that's all that matters should take you about 30 minutes with the right tools other than that hope you all enjoyed hope you learned something because I sure did and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe have a good one y'all <laughs>